Let's see, get my screen share and start. Yo, welcome back to the NY show. Let me see, get my get that stuff for you. Welcome back to the NY show. As I said before, I want to make sure that everybody goes and checks out the last couple shows, which is prison transport officer, please guilty to our wording pre-child detainees in New Mexico, ex-DEA informant, please guilty to role in killing Haitian president, bodies of five medical students found stuffed in a car on the dirt road in Mexico. And like I said, some of these stories hit, some don't, but I still take them to be, I took the route. I'm not trying to always do the breaking story, you got to look at all these other stories across the world that people don't care about. So it's not that so much, you're just not in the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, like some of these these stories, they just like hit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, I don't know what I did. You know what I'm saying? It just hit. And people engage with me. You got other times where it's like, yo, I don't care about the, the, the crew wreck, man. I don't care about, you know, care about what's going on in Africa. Like, nobody care. You know what I'm saying? But it's just the ups and downs of it. So I always just kind of like watch. All right, they engage with that one. All right, cool. They liking that one up. They not liking that. You know, it's just really up and down, truly, if I could. If I can truly comment on how it is making content. Now, literally, there's no pressure. Episode 154 with peace underscore peace. Remember that the E's are threes and that when you search on social media platforms, as well as how a mother has found some life in the pursuit of dreams, an interview with Axe Brown and the Times by AJ Tandy, which is available on Spotify. And I want to go into the story about the father that's now dealing with a situation. This is a story out of United, uh, our United Kingdom. So it ain't really touched down over here yet, but devastated dad issue warning about chroming trend at the 14 year old died just by Britt Jones published on the night. And every, every so often I run into one of these stories about kids doing uh, challenges on TikTok, And then these challenges are ended up taking their lives. It's like, Ooh, nobody really care, but it's like, yo, other, other kids are doing this because after reading this story, I, I realized something I was doing back in 2005 related to this kind of behavior. You know what I'm saying? The family is calling for a bigger warning la label on aerosol cans after the tragic death of their daughter. So basically they took their daughter, Georgia, to the store. She had autism. She was 14 years old. She had autism and she had sensory needs. They took her to the store. Get um, um She liked certain smells, like her deodorant. After they tripped together, the young girl sprayed the scent around her room, probably in too much of a condensed space, too much spraying of it, leading to an awful reaction um, and her death. Now her parents are raising awareness on the fatal effects of aerosol cans, which I recently learned are being used for a chroming tr trend that probably you search on TikTok, you'll be able to find a chroming trend and people are taking in high concentrates and aerosol cans give out way more than just spit spit water air is giving out chemicals giving out real life chemicals chroming is the act of puffing uh, solvents inhaling fumes which give a temporary high like some dope or something to the user but as many reports have been plaguing the country due to social media trends Georgia family wants to put it into it while her death was a horrible accident. Her father, 55, her mother, 54, uh, Claire, and the manufacturers, they want they want the manufacturer to put a bigger label on them. So I sat in the hospital, hold my daughter's hand. I couldn't believe what was happening. I could barely speak. My baby was gone. This was only a few months ago in March that TikTok was forced to remove a chroming challenge after 13 year old Ezra Hayes died as a result of inhaling sol uh, solvents. And this was a story that came out from um, over there in Australia, 13 year old back in May died from this cardiac arrest, uh, cardiac arrest, the film, taking in these fumes from doing this uh, this aerosol thing, just spraying the spray out for that temporary uh, this temporary high. And uh, they said, although it wasn't exactly the same, they're still saying you're putting these toxins into your body. All it takes is you a little tiny bit in the end over your tolerance level, you can be like Georgia. Um, we knew that Georgia liked to spray her de deodorant around when she felt a bit anxious because it gave her a sense of comfort, but we had no idea how lethal it could be. But yeah, you got to pay more attention to that too. Y'all talking about putting bigger labels on the can. Y'all got to pay attention to the cans too when it comes to what y'all doing with the, the child. Like my my son, it can be common for him to smell the smell of gas. That don't mean that every time he start acting up, you're headed up to the gas station. Like, oh my boy, I'm just gonna let him sniff gas. Like I should know as a parent, like uh, maybe this little nigga shouldn't be sipping some, smelling, just sniffing gas um like that. Maybe that may not be the best thing for me to be doing for my son. Now, um, after Georgia came home from shopping. Like I said, she went in her room, sprayed it, got her, she got her broom and a blanket with the deodorant. Lord have mercy. Um, her dad got some terrible news about this. The young girl was taken to Royal Derby Hospital, which is, like I said, I think I got this pulled up. Royal Derby Hospital, right here in the UK. Uh, this is the United Kingdom right here. 
I see church, Victoria Parks, everything around this hotel, but this is what a young lady was taken to, and she was pronounced dead. So I want to send a message out there to anybody that see your kids playing with uh, spray and all that extra stuff, you need to put an end to it. Let me tell you two things. When I was young, we used to be in, um, fifth, when I was in fifth grade, I used to sit in class, me and, you know, I, I had a turban in fifth grade, yeah. But we used to get the expo markers. And you'll be smelling the expo markers in the class and you get like a temporary high off them. I don't know if anybody else ever did that. Me and my friends and my ass, peer pressure motherfuckers. We sit in, in the class and you getting that little weird little high feeling, but you, you are coming down with a headache. You know what I'm saying? You are coming down with a headache, but we sitting there sniffing expo markers. And then if you really, aside from doing stuff like that, it's been time with an axe spray, which is supposed to be a spray, smell good spray. People will hit it with the flame and then you'll be burnt somebody's face off. So y'all let me know what y'all thoughts on this. And you know, if you got kids, please keep them away from the salt, the the, the light saw, the Febreze, anything that can spray in a concentrated area. No aerosol cans, no at all. If you you got a teenager, because if they on TikTok, they're definitely probably trying to pick up with the trends. Just like the little kids were doing the blackout challenge, how long you can hold your breath till you fall out. Just a little stupid shit. You know, it's the NYA show. Let me know what your thoughts on it, and I'll see y'all next time. Ooh.